you follow, what can you say? This place is unreal. There's so much history to have my second Bass Pro Tour trophy and, and win here. And the way it happened um, is something crazy. You know, uh, championship day, I mean, it, it did not start out fast. It was one of those things that I, I, I had an idea. I really felt like the fish were gonna move up. The water started to, to come up just a little bit more. We had warm nights, 60 degree nights. So I'm thinking instantly like, all right, water's getting dirtier. I'm still gonna mix in my offshore stuff, but I'm not going to live and die with that. So I spent the majority of my first period going up there shallow, looking around, trying to analyze like, all right, what's going on? I caught one bass. In the second period, I made an adjustment and, I, and I've been catching my fish basically on three or four different baits, but really primarily it was that crankbait. If the water was cleaner, I would throw the DT14, DT16, depending on the water color. I caught them on a spinnerbait. I caught them also on a jig as well, um, a little black and blue jig with a, with a Guggen Baits Bandito bug. And I would just fish that. When I couldn't get those fish to bite uh, those moving baits, it definitely seemed like that jig could, could generate a few more bites. And that was something that I, I sort of was like offshore, I started to rotate through. So I, I started to make, you know, there's one area of the lake that always stayed clean and I, and I, I really paid attention to the Google Earth images um, of this lake. I actually had it to where I could see from all the floods and I had like a lot of good images of, of the water um, and I could see what areas stayed clean and what areas got blown out. And so there's one area that I had not fished, but I had 20 places that I could fish around there that was, I had in my back pocket that I was gonna fish the final day when everything else would be blown out. So I was sort of saving it. And at that point in time, I, I went in there, I made a cast on, on, a, on a brush pile and I caught one on a spinnerbait. I was throwing that one ounce accent, old big, uh, my signature series spinnerbait, and it was actually a spot remover color. And I was throwing a 3.8 inch uh, Guggenbait saucy swim bait on the back of it, a white flash. But the key was that once I got that bite on that spinnerbait, I knew like this might be the deal. I go to the next place, I get another bite. I catch one, so I get two and a quarter pounder. I go to another place, I don't get a bite, go to another place, I don't get a bite, run to the next place, and catch another fish. So I'm I'm confident, but I'm still not leading, you know? And I know, you know, my biggest thing was I'm, I'm trying to target multiple places that, that are high percentage. But then after seeing that I could get those fish to bite in that, that dirty water with that spinnerbait, I had one thought. I had a place. There's a big school of fish, but I could not get those fish to bite because the water got too dirty. At that point in time, I make make my run. I, I hear start of the third period. I hear thrift. Bam, bam, bam. I'm like, dude, this is. I'm like, I have to make an adjustment. I have to make an adjustment. So I roll up there, just knowing that I, I'm still eight pounds back, and I idle over this school every bass in the lake was sitting there. There's how many of them were there. <laughs> but I was like, and I literally said, I said, if we can get these fish to buy, I know what that is, we'll win. It's simple as that. Like it was no doubt in my mind. And I make that first cast, I throw it out there and on the fall, one goes, doop, bites it. And I start reeling it and I catch a two and a quarter pounder. And so that point in time, I knew like it was every single cast. Like I would hook one, and it would come off and another one would get it. Like I've never in my whole fishing career felt like I felt when I when that I found that fish. Like when those fish were like biting. Like it was just like the most magical feeling that was going through my mind at that point. I mean, I was like, I was, I couldn't believe it. Like I knew it, but I was like, wow. I couldn't have imagined a better start to the 2020 season. Uh, Lake Eufaula obviously showed out with Really some of the toughest conditions I think I've ever seen in a tournament. But uh, to notch a win at Lake Eufaula, man, this one meant a lot to me.